Hey guys, and welcome to the Vine View. Hopefully, you guys are all doing well. Uh, in this particular video, as you can see, we've got Bob in the cut. Uh, Bob is here. Uh, he's going to give his opinion on his fan cam. Obviously, um, not the best result, uh, in my personal opinion, as you can see by my name, 2 2. We've got the draw versus Leverkusen. Um, thank you for doing this, as always, Bob. And um, yeah, man, without further ado, go ahead, G. Well, um... Uh, what I thought of the game uh, in general is I think we played well. Uh, we were the better team for at least like 70 minutes of the match, which is, I mean, it's always a good thing, especially because Leverkusen is probably after Bayern and maybe uh, Leipzig the best team in the Bundesliga right now. So yeah. didn't expect to uh, have the overhand like we did. Um, Obviously, a 2-2 draw is annoying, especially with the way the penalty came, which is, I mean, it's a debatable penalty. I get why he gave it. The, don't get me wrong. I mean, um, I get why he gave it all, but it's a, deba it's a debatable penalty. So, uh, that was obviously annoying. Um, same with the Grimaldo free kick, which, I mean, it was an amazing free kick. I can't, I can't do anything but applause to that, uh, uh, personally, but... Yeah, I mean, it's sad. It's sad to draw, obviously, but uh, we're still second in the league, so good. nothing can change it as well, I think. So, um, uh, well, I mean, didn't uh, didn't really like... Uh, well, I wasn't really, even really sure to uh, draw. I, I take it, like, before the match, I was thinking, like, I take a draw. Uh, if we if we play good, I take a draw against uh, Leverkusen in this match. So. Yeah, I would, I, to be honest, I predicted a 2-2, uh, um, which is obviously what it was, which obviously I didn't want. But do you think, in the end, we got robbed of the win? Well, um, from the 80th minute, I mean, it was 1-1 in the 80th minute, and both teams had so many chances chances that i don't think anyone could have really been robbed but if you look before the 80 minutes we were uh, we had the upper hand for the entire entirety of the second half uh, except for the goal uh, of boniface which was like offside um the first half we were better the second half we were better mostly um so yeah i mean i guess what people say we were robbed because like the offside goal in 97 minutes which i mean offside to side but it's still it's frustrating and the debatable penalty which i've always yeah. said no, i mean, with you on the i guess why people are saying like we're robbed but um in my personal opinion i think it was it wasn't i mean uh, the our xg was higher but i mean it was a deserved draw in my opinion because leverkusen played very good, play very good. Uh, I, i'm with you on that one um and how reverts hit that post uh, is beyond me um that personally for me should have been the goal um what do you think player performance wise though what do you think okay i'll go just uh, from bottom to um i saw a bit of Urik hate but i mean Urik didn't play bad i mean he's still a bit shaky on the passes sometimes but i mean in goals in goal i mean he obviously couldn't do anything about free kick uh, oh yeah what about that? uh um, as well i mean he was he, he had his hands on the penalty so um yeah couldn't really have done anything um limer was great uh, as a right back but especially as a dm when Kimmich came off i think it was great masrawi was great when he came on um i think he really he really gave, gave a bit of flair to um push over sane yeah um kimich was great i mean kimich some people saying kimich is becoming bad but i mean kimich just he didn't do like uh so the crazy things he tends to do sometimes like giving a ball six from 60 meters and just exactly in someone's feet but i mean uh, apart from that i mean he, like every ball he gave was um, accurate. He was defensively solid, which I mean he isn't always defensively solid, so that's yeah. uh, that's that's great. Goretzka was Goretzka was fantastic as well. He's, I don't know how he's doing it, but I don't think he liked uh, the link with links with Palinja because I mean obviously he, he were to lose this spot if uh, Palinja would come. Yeah. So he, yeah, he really uh, he really. Um, 
accelerated uh, and I think it's great, but I still think Pelini should come because all the depth is obviously a problem. Um, we have Guerrero coming back, but I mean, Guerrero is more of a backup left back, I think, than a backup midfielder. Yeah. Um, then we have, I mean, Kim and Jay was my man of the match, personally. Mm. I think he was like insane. I mean, no mistakes made, uh, the dribbles he made, the passes. That's so good. He's just so good. Um, same with Upamakano. It was very well. Um, same with the Licht when he came on as a six. I mean, I'm, I really liked the Licht as a six today. I mean, like, Tuchel's problem with him is obviously the many side passes, which I mean, I gotta agree with. I've been watching him for quite a while now, and um, well, he obviously he d he doesn't like he isn't the best in build-up play, but when yeah, he's cool. just there in midfield, you just chop everything that's coming his way down and just distribute distribute it to someone who is better with the ball. And he was really great in this role. Role, so I'd like to see more of him uh, in that role. Maybe even start against a team like Leipzig, which has a lot of uh, offensive force. But, I mean, that's problems for later, so... <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Davies was great again. Not an assist, but, I mean, his match overall is great. Yeah. Really took Frimpong down. Um, Frimpong, by the way, it's, it's amazing. But um, <laughs> Davies, like, Davies... Um, Really, he really like made sure that uh, he couldn't do anything. Um, then for the attack, Müller was Müller was just Müller was well, well, he was decent. I mean, nothing too special, but I mean, Müller doesn't really uh, often like do really special things. He's just solid everywhere. Just um, gives great directions to his teammates, makes the team play better, especially. Um, yeah, Gnabry was, I sorry to say this, bro, but Gnabry was the worst player on the pitch for me. Um, well, I mean, obviously, yeah, he has his great moments, but um, he didn't really con uh, contribute anything to the game, in my opinion, in this game. He really, like, I don't even think he likes being on the left wing as well, to be honest, so. Yeah, I agree. It was, I don't, I, I actually, I don't think he trained to be in the left wing this week. I think the idea was come on being on the left wing, but then the injury happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, can't really blame him for that. Maybe I'd have start Tell because Tell is just insane the last couple of weeks. So, uh, if come on isn't back for next week, I'd maybe start Tell or Mushala as a left wing, uh, one of those two. Uh, moving on to Mushala, and Mushala was great again. Um, really, like, when Kimmich came off, you had a period where like um, nothing went right, and then uh, Mushala came on. I don't know how many minutes later, and it wasn't a lot. May have been exactly after. I don't really know anymore. But yeah. um, uh, well, um, the creativity that Kimi had was just turned over to Mushala, which I mean, for twenty year olds, boy, it's amazing what he can do with the ball. Also, like uh, attackingly, I think we uh, we're more more stable when Mushala was there. He always had someone to pass the ball to, where otherwise it would just be pass the ball to Sané and Sané could hold off the ball. Well, now we have Sané and Mushala when he came on. Um, Kane was great. Uh, Kane was just like, he was. He scored a goal, which I mean, for a striker, that's, you already have a good match if you score a goal, mostly. Uh, I mean, except if you miss like five one-on-ones. Uh, yeah. No, but he was... It was great. Uh, really liked how he was just like sometimes he shifts into midfield if Goretzka was uh, uh, forward. And I mean, his long passes are obviously like amazing. Um, and then for my best attacker, it's Sané again. Sané was just like, um, it was really good. Not his best performance this season, but I mean, that's saying something because it was a really good, great game. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I think my top three men of the matches would be, I mean, you have one, but I would go with like um, Kim and Jay first, then Goretzka, then Sané, maybe. Yeah, no, no, I'm with you on that one. I'm with you on that one. 
uh, Kim and Jay definitely put in a good performance. Um, most definitely. Um, well, thank you for coming on as always, bro. Um, always. And um, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, please do smash the thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button, and um, yeah, my last Bob's fan cam. Let me know what you think and what he's had to say. He's missing good points, uh, as always. He hasn't spoke about Dembele, so it's good. Um, but um, yeah, hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, stay safe, stay um, humble, and all of that. And um, till then, yes, I'm here. Peace out, people.